All right, folks, see how frozen the vehicle is? See all the ice? It's very frozen. And as soon as I have the defroster on, it's pretty much doing its job. Look at this. Look at that. Everything is completely frozen. The whole windshield is completely frozen, including this whole wiper. I guess my mistake was not to lift it up, so. Yep. Trying to, you know, get rid of all this frozen stuff. It is ridiculous. So frozen. This one. Man, this is bad. It's pretty bad. It's completely frozen. There might be black ice on the highways. So if y'all are driving, just be careful out here. Um, Cause I am not driving on the highway so now, this is what we call pure ice look at that pure ice pure ice look at that ice sheets Your ice sheets. Even the the lights. Look at that. Thin ice sheets. I'm just cracking it a little bit. I'm doing it with my hands. Look at that. Ice sheets everywhere. I doubt that I'll be it. Oh, look at that. Oh. All I need is to make sure. This is cleared. So ice sheets out here. This is pretty bad. I know I'm using my fingers to do this, which I'm not supposed to. Let me get the, uh, look at that. Ooh. Look at that ice sheets falling. Get rid of these sheet of eyes. Look at that. Get rid of these sheet of eyes. Brush it all off. Because we don't need this in our vehicle, you know. Up, uh, the windows going up and down. So all we need to do is get rid of it. We need to do 
Let's do the uh, let's do the windshield. Um, let me turn on the uh, defroster. It's seven currently seven degrees right now. So after warming up the car or defrosting the car, the battery went from 86 all the way to 81. So pretty much used um five percent to just defrost the car, which is it might be really bad, but you know, we'll take it like that because this is just basically my daily use. So, all right, on my way to work. So let's see how much percent I'm left with when I get to work. Good morning, folks. So the snow is pretty bad out here. It's like lots and lots of inches, man. It's like uh, pretty much more than 15 inches of snow. I couldn't even dig myself out of the driveway, so I had to let them shovel the driveway. Um, yeah, the good thing in my neighborhood is uh, they do free shoveling, um, so pretty well. Right now, on my way to work, uh, kind of left the vehicle the vehicle was in uh was i think 81 percent battery charged and then i defrosted for five minutes and then now i'm leaving my home with 73 percent battery so let me wear my seat belt give me a sec put on my seat belt All right, so leaving the house, pretty much, um, yeah. Can't even see any road markings or anything. So still using the all seasons, uh, 
and I'm driving in chill mode because I don't want the car slipping all over in standard. So, driving in chill mode to work. Uh, I live 10 miles away from my job, so pretty much. Let's see how, you know, the roads are cleared up here in upstate New York. Um, well, it seems like it's pretty cleared. There's enough salt on the road. For some reason, they, they mix something with sand and that causes a lot of corrosion up here and on, on vehicles. So, see how the roads are really dirty? It's like, I, I don't even know what they put on the roads, man. It's like, I, I try to figure out what really, really causes your vehicle to rust, like in a short span of time, you know? So. spin getting on the highway which is not bad so as you can see I think the roads are pretty cleared and up here and <laughs> and the snow is turning into water right here it's still freezing it's still 18 degrees but Fahrenheit it's, it's funny how you know how this whole snow is turning into water because of the, uh, the chemicals they put on the highways, on the roads. We literally get rid of, and as you can see, you know, all the road markings are showing on the vehicle. So, pretty much, I couldn't drive yesterday because of the snow storm. We had the lake, lake effect storm. It's called the lake effect, I think. Uh, between Canada and here it's pretty crazy so um, that is what we got the lake effect warning snow warning or snowstorm which was pretty really really bad you know um, but that's how it is let me see if autopilot will work yep it Autopilot is working. Normally, with the autopilot, I put the cruise control around four zeros, and then I just autopilot. I like I just you know press the go pedal myself because uh, if I don't do it that way, this car will phantom brake and do all sort of crap to to stop my or to have me get a poor uh, scores on my uh, for the beta. You know, so I do it this way so that I can control the accelerator and everything. And then I disengage it at the light so that I don't get any phantom braking or whatever crap, you know, the system may give me. So that's what I do. So, so basically, if you want to get a real good score, just put it on autopilot or full self, F, full self driving and um just control the go pedal and the braking because if you don't do it that way it will give you phantom braking and all sort of so so when i do it this way i just reduce yep to zero reduce the cruise control to zero and then i put my foot on the go pedal and just like control the speed of the vehicle so i know definitely you know if i'm coming to a stop or whatever i'm in total control um for some reason 
if you are driving on the highway and uh, a tractor trailer is approaching you, for some reason the vehicle thinks it's an obstacle and then it finally brakes. So I bypass all these things by controlling the go pedal because then it'll, it'll still give me the uh, it'll still give me the alert or it'll still give me the uh, it'll still tell me hey you know <laughs> there's an obstacle big obstacle coming and I just bypass this obstacle with uh, by controlling the speed of the vehicle with my legs you know on the go pedal so that's what I do so for instance I'm coming to a stop I control the speed and disengage the uh, autopilot. By the time I get to work, I have an excellent score each day. So that's how I drive. Uh, I don't let the vehicle drive by itself. Yeah, I let it steer by itself, but I have my hands on the steering wheel. But I'm getting some Dunkin' Donuts, so bear in mind with me. Yeah. All right, let me flip the camera to work with the uh, 74% came to pick up my clothes that I left in my office so 242 74% um, I'm heading right now I'm heading home so let's see uh, what percentage will I get home with all right all right so driving through the foggy upstate New York no actually there's not upstate New York sorry about that this is um, on I I um, I 13 that's what we on um, I 13 in New York um, going all the way to then get on the I-91 North in Connecticut. So we still have like about, um, as you can see, 58 miles to go to exit, to get to our exit. Um, and then head towards Hartford, Connecticut. Right now, since the weather is so foggy and so really really bad I'm just you know it's still on full self driving but I'm testing it out uh, I don't have the beta yet I subscribe to the full self driving and I'm testing it out in the fucking weather right now currently to see how it will perform so put my hands out on the wheels just in case in once we arrive in about one hour 13 